Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And as you all know, I've been playing around with Unreal Engine 5.3. Just a disclaimer, this is beta. That means that whatever I'm showing you right now might not officially make it out in the public release. So again, <laughs> take this with a grain of salt. But what they added today is actually pretty cool. Uh, so I have the post process volume here. And if I now type in reflections, this is big, by the way, they now added a setting for max reflection bounces. So I can check this on right here. And to kind of show this, I'm going to go to this television right here. And as you can see right now, we have the max reflection bounces set to one. But if I go to two, you're going to see that we're going to have some more information down here. This is pretty cool because as you all know, they are getting rid of the ray tracing standalone deprecated. And that had options for increasing the max bounces. That being said, before this, we didn't have this option. So... This is pretty awesome, man. But with that being said, for this to work, you are going to need hit lighting for reflections turned on, meaning you're going to need to have hardware ray tracing turned on, support for lumen. So if I go to edit, project settings, and I'll go to hardware, you are going to need to have this turned on for this to work. So if I turn this off, <laughs> you're going to see we're going to go back to surface cache, which is no bueno. Ugh gosh I, I mean again as far as i don't want to push for hardware it's just man having hardware ray tracing turned on it's just, it just looks amazing so it's surface cache but look at hit lighting oh god it looks amazing it's definitely getting there it's it's pretty cool so go ahead go to one and go to two additionally there is a new cvar console variable for uh, reflections it's gonna let you up the resolution a little bit for those reflections. If I go to output log and I type in high res, you're gonna see we have R dot lumen reflections dot high res surface. So again, if I set this to zero, ooh, that's what 5.1 looks like right now, actually. I compared this. This right here shows up, same exact scene, but this is what it looks like. But with now, with this setting, high res surface to one, it's going to look a lot better. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. I just kind of want to keep them short so they're easier to find. Additionally, if you are going to make a video about this feature, make sure to give me a shout out so that we're kind of spreading the love a little bit. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.